let's talk more about the Nets on the court uh, because for me, it always starts with the numbers. The Nets have now won three of four games during Kyrie's absence after opening the season two and six with him. They have gone from worst to first in defensive efficiency and also almost near the bottom where they started of the league defending the three to near the top. Now, mind you, I had to dig into the numbers with producer shorts. We know they played Washington, who's 25th in offensive efficiency, Charlotte 28th, the Knicks 23rd, and Dallas. So starting with you, Zach, Woj mentioned the vibes are strong, the vibes are real around this team. But what have you seen as the difference in their play? They're playing really hard. They're playing together. And they're defending super hard. And more than anything else, Kevin Durant looks like he's having an absolute blast. All of the conflict, all of the drama, all of it is gone. But two things. Number one, the schedule has been what you just said it is. And it's about to get a lot harder. And at some point, talent wins. And the Nets right now, I don't think, have enough talent to be the team that Kevin Durant and Sean Marks and Jacques Vaughn want them to be. What Malika said, a championship contender. I don't think it's quite there. A couple of things to note, though, from these four games. Seth Curry, 23 points in the last game against the Knicks. The first time he's really looked like Seth Curry, a weapon. And the most interesting thing that no one is talking about is Ben Simmons their backup center now? I, is, that a, is that a thing that's going to persist? Because they've decided, I think, he and Nick Claxton can't play together. Too, too little shooting on the floor. And they've turned him into a backup center. He's playing hard, but is that long-term that, that feels not great for the Nets? Yeah, like you're getting a little bit of undervalue. Perk, what have you noticed with the Nets? <clears throat> that the leader and the voice matters. And look, I, you know, I hated that Steve Nash lost his job, but this just goes to show you how head coaching in the NBA, how it matters. We watched Ime Udoka last year with the Boston Celtic team that, you know, Brad Stevens couldn't quite get over the hump, and Ime Udoka – uh, actually got the best out of that team. But now you look at the Brooklyn Nets and you hear Jock Vaughn in that, in that interview talking about giving players hugs when they see them at shoot around. You see the joy in Kevin Durant's face and the body language. And see, this is what I talk about when I say the attention of the locker room and most importantly, the attention of Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant has been dialed in defensively. And when you can hold your superstars or your franchise guy accountable, it's easy to hold everybody else accountable and everybody else has to follow, follow in suit. So right now, much as I want to give KD praise at the point forward position, I want to give all the credit to Jock Vaughn for being able to come into that locker room and relate and get the best out of those players as we've been seeing thus far. I mean, we all know there's been a lot of outside noise during Kevin Durant's whole tenure with Brooklyn. Um, mm -hmm. And he's come out and said he wants to come out and play basketball. And I'm sure the rest of the team and the organization, that's all they want too. So I think we're seeing, again, a happy Kevin Durant. His full arsenal is on display. But we also have to understand that, like, like was said early, this team is doing well right now for who they're playing. But we know that Kyrie coming back, if that's what they decide, will be a big part of this team moving forward. But you just love to see the joy back in the game because it's, it's been nothing but outside noise for the last three years for this team. So I know they just want to get back to basketball, and I, I know all, the whole organization is excited that they can do that. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.